Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back today with another video. This one is going to be brought to you by the company Julia Hair. Now, before I get started on all the details, guys, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, turn those notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my videos. This unit I will be showing you guys is their 13 by 4 lace frontal curly wig. It is in the length 24 inches. You have your standard cap construction, which is two combs on the side, a comb in the back, and your adjustable strap. And you also get a pre plugged hairline. Did lightly bleach my knots off of camera and as you guys can see I added my even New York tint spray in the color medium brown and I washed this unit using my Aussie Moist shampoo and conditioner as you guys can see this hair is thick this is some really big hair but I'm gonna work on cutting off the lace and we are going to melt this down but first I am gonna have to go in and cut the size down so that it can fit up by my ear perfectly Now I'm gonna go in with my got to be fix it hole spray and it's been a while since I used this because you guys know I was super heavy on the got to be high insta hole and I wanted to retry this again because it worked good. It's not like I didn't like it. I just seemed to really be into the got to be at the time. So I forgot all about my other sprays, but I need to use them. So I'm gonna end up doing two layers and I do have a towel near me just to kind of help clean up. I'm gonna lightly blow dry it on cool in that way that it can help kind of speed up the process. And once I lay it down, I'm gonna use my rat tail comb to make sure to press all the lace in. This lace was more on the harder side, so I really had to make sure that none of the lace was going to roll up. So after I am done pressing the lace in and it's all dried down, I am gonna end up pulling out some hairs in the front. Of course, if you aren't a fan of baby hairs, you can definitely skip this step. And then I'm gonna go in with this baby hair goo that I purchased off of Soshar website. I'm gonna make sure to leave the link down below for that just in case you guys are interested. This is only my second time using this, but so far I really do like the product. I feel like it really helps to mold the baby hairs and I haven't gotten any type of flakiness yet. Now I am gonna end up doing some sideburns too. I decided to do that last minute, but I'm kind of happy that I did because it's going to pull the look all together. Now with my baby hair, sometimes I can just swoop it perfect the first time and other times I do have to keep going back over it. So you guys will see me having to end up fixing one side again. I felt like one side laid better than the other because the other side, the hair felt a little bit more textured and rougher. So it was not laying down the way that I wanted it to, but eventually it will lay down. Yeah. I am satisfied with the way that the hair is molded in the front. I'm gonna go in with this melt band. This one also came from So Shard's website. I'll leave it down below, but I like the way that this went on because it's like a headband versus me having to tie anything down and it doesn't move. Now, let's talk about this hair. Like, I'm giving you Shaka Khan vibes. Like, look how big this hair is. But I'm pretty sure you guys can see my dilemma and that's that the top of the hair on the frontal is way shorter than the rest of the hair. But we are gonna see if we can work it out. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I was really all over the place because I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do with this hair because of the frontal area. So my first thing was, okay, I'm gonna just spray the hair down and then we are gonna see how it works out. But then I was like, no, let me hot comb the top of this unit. So I was kind of backwards. I should have hot combed it first, but while I was spraying, I did not spray the frontal part so it didn't get wet so it was easier for me to run the hot comb over. 
So we tapping back in with this water bottle. Just to let y'all know, y'all gonna see this water bottle a few times because I was so indecisive. And then I'm bringing out my detangling brush because I wanted to see if the curls would eventually, you know, kind of clump together. And I also wanted to see what the curls would look like a little bit more defined. So I'm gonna go in with my olive oil mousse and begin to run my fingers through this hair just to see if, you know, the curls are going to pop more. And I figured if I don't do a part, maybe if I brush it all the way back, it'll blend in well. After continuous brushing, detangling, finger combing, the front and the back, it just didn't want to meet up. So, oh, I've got to cut it. I've got to cut it. It got to go. And this hair was so thick, it took me a while to cut it. But we did it, Joe. We did it. We cut it. The hair had to go. That the hair is shorter I can get a more better idea of what I want to do with it so I'm gonna opt for a middle part up oh, the water bottle is back so I'm going to be drenching this hair again because the front of this hair was getting dry very very quick and so I'm gonna wet the hair all over again I'm not gonna put any more product in it and then I'm going to bring out the diffuser you guys know I don't always diffuse it at a hundred percent but just enough to where I can get the hair defined and to stay into place and then i am going to use my garnier for tea sleek and shine serum just to kind of fluff it up a little bit not fluff it up too much because i don't want to disturb them curls because them curls looking good now but just enough to you know protect it against having too much frizziness time to take the melt band off i had to be careful just so that i did not disturb the curls and then i'm gonna go in with my ruby kisses powder just to kind of open up the parting space a little bit after i'm done with that guys this is the final result hair is popping yes i'm happy i cut this down it looks way better yes i can go in and do a little bit more customizations with my cut but i'm happy with it guys make sure you stay tuned after this so you can hear my final thoughts on this curly frontal wig see I chopped this unit down I do feel like I can go in the back and kind of cut it a little bit shorter but I am happy with the results instead of trying to work with it now I have previously worked with a curly frontal wig from another company and the hair was shorter at the top also and I made it work I blended it in the best I could but this time around I just did not want to put in that type of work so when all else fails grab your scissors and get to chopping <laughs> so I feel like it definitely worked out it looks good now now the curls on this unit the curls in the front are a tighter curl pattern and they also are more textured like i'm getting more frizziness up in this area versus in the back i feel like this hair is more wavy it's a wavy curly but it's definitely more on the silkier side so i'm getting a little bit of texture here and then you're getting some silkiness back here now of course you can't tell because i did use my brush and i kind of clumped it all together but when the hair was longer it was super noticeable and that's why i decided to go ahead and just cut it that's short. my biggest con when it comes to this unit um the frontal also i felt like it was a little bit more on the harder side as far as the lace goes so i had to make sure that it was laying down because i did not want my lace to be showing so i had to go in and kind of fix up a few little areas but as you guys can see it did blend in very well now to mold my baby hairs i did use this baby hair goo from so Char. i love watching her channel because she definitely slays all her units and I always want to know what does she use on her baby hair. So this stuff is kind of thick. This is my second time using this and it smells good. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it has like a pink tint to it. But I'll make sure to leave a link down below for that. And also she does sell these melt bands. And this was my first time using it also. So I'm gonna get better with it putting it on because I'm used to just tying my hair with the scarf but it did keep everything into place it all looks good and I love the way that this 
goes on because I didn't get any type of flakiness. It feels soft, but it does have a hold to it. Now, is it as soft as like mousse? No, but like I said, I didn't get any flakiness. My baby hairs is laid down really well. It has a nice sheen to it, but not over shiny. So I didn't feel the need to have to go back through and recomb over them. This is some thick hair. As you guys can tell, of course, the shorter the hair is, the more thicker it is going to look. But I don't mind it. This is definitely putting me into the spring summer vibe with this texture. And I think it came out really cute. I add some lace tint spray to the lace also just because I wanted it to blend in better with my skin because it was a little bit on the lighter side. And then I put some powder into the parting space to open it up. Now up here I am noticing a little bit of frizziness. I did go in with this olive oil uh, fixing spray and try to lay them down but they're still popping up. So if I was to go back and re-put this unit on I would definitely probably mold it on the mannequin head so that all that can stay down. I mean, I use the hot comb, I use this, my wax stick, and it's still some hairs popping up. But I do like that it doesn't look too perfect. Does that make sense? Like, it kind of looks messy, but not too perfect. But yeah, I would prefer them to lay down and then get messier over time. Guys, let me know what you think about this unit and if you are feeling the shorter cut. If you are interested in this, I'm gonna make sure to leave the link down below along with the products that I use in today's video. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Again, turn those notifications on, share and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.